she's so happy. She's so happy. I've never seen her so happy. All our shoes did get taken. So this mosque is absolutely humongous. The world's largest casino mosque. Yeah, this mosque would be quite something when it's fully built. Well, 40 days and nights of praying and fasting in these tiny rooms by yourself. This place is absolutely huge. A couple of trek to get to, but I promise you it's worth it. Definitely gotta come visit. If we can do it, you definitely can. Good morning everyone, it's beautiful, beautiful morning here in Chaplow. We also noticed this this morning, is that there's this massive mint tree, mint leaf tree? I don't really know what you call it. Like look, all these fresh mint leaves on there, it's beautiful, it smells divine. The hotel room, it's okay. The bed is absolutely tiny, as you can see. Yeah, it's really tiny, it's really small. It's about five foot, so you're gonna have to put your knees up. So these guys, they turn the power off every day i think between nine till about seven so a good what 10 hours a day but they leave the lights on nobody goes around and switches the lights off but they open the windows so then when the lights come on the windows are open and all these bugs just fly right in i told them to turn the light off so they did that last night to avoid the bug problem but who knows if they'll keep that going yeah and also let me just show you the bathroom it's quite interesting so you have the shower head up here then down here you have these hot and cold nozzles and then you have a bucket so the idea is is to fill it up with the hot and cold and then just pour it over yourself i don't know why the piping just can't be connected to the shower head no idea. Anyway, we're off. We're going to go on a little trip. Might have to change our plans. Rain's going to come in as well. It's a long drive back to Skirdu. So we're going to speak to the driver, see what we can do. How you feeling, baby? I'm feeling a bit tired. I was quite awake at six. But yeah? Because yeah. the sun just hits you. It, bam! It goes through this window. I know, but the mint leaves, right? How good are they? I don't know if we can take any. We haven't asked. We probably can. I mean, the old man was just the sweetest. All right. Now's the time. So this is our breakfast here in Hapla. We got we got an egg, it's a little bit cold. <laughs> we got some boiling hot chai and we got a couple of paratas. Yeah, oh my god, they are oily. My granddad would love these. Look at that. There you go, granddad. <laughs> Jesus. Oh he would love that. I have to say I feel really privileged right now. Just you know, staying at guest house, it's cost us about 13 pounds, including breakfast, maybe 15. We just cost about 20 dollars. I mean, just look again. I know I keep going on about this, but I never knew Pakistan was this, this mountainous. But then, why wouldn't it be? Because Pakistan does have the Himalayas, and people always forget that Pakistan actually has Himalayas. It's like India has it, Nepal has it, obviously Pakistan has it because they're right next door. Anyway, let's see. So this is our lift for the day. Look at it. Look at this lovely shaggy seating place. I don't know. I don't know what you call it. Seat carpet. We are at Chachar Mosque, yay! This is something I've been waiting for for a very long time, so I'm very excited. I mean, just look at it, it looks beautiful. The views inside should be incredible too. This building is an old monastery, which is now a mosque. It is incredibly beautiful and such spectacular views. I mean, who wouldn't want to pray here? Take our shoes off and enter. So before we go in, my mum always said, do not leave your shoes unattended because someone will nick them. And I was like, don't be silly, mother. So let's see if they get nicked. I hope they don't because we have nothing else. I mean, they stick out like a sore thumb. Let's just stick them. Stick them all the way at the back and then we'll see. Socks, take care, Okay. Let's go after you, my love. It's beautiful. That's what John and is. This is the view. See a little valley all the way over there. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, pretty spectacular, right? Eh? Wow, all of those mountains, absolutely beautiful. Mecca faces the other way, so you wouldn't be seeing this while you're praying. There it is, the mosque behind me, mashallah. Look at that, absolutely stunning. Actually, you know what? Whenever I do this, I always think of my granddad. It's like, I don't want to see you, I want to see it. 
absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to set the drone off to sleep because that would just be completely rude. You would pray towards this way, these mountains, yeah. But then, look at that. It's really the southeast side where it really shines. I mean, that's just beautiful. I mean, just look at the mosque. Wow. And there is Natalie. We've seen a lot of this on our Instagram and TikTok. A lot of it. It's so photogenic, isn't it? So beautiful, mashallah. People are praying at the moment, so we've got going inside and outside here. They're happy for us to come. Mashallah. And inside, uh, men and women are praying together. There's no separation there. Absolutely beautiful. But as always in this country, there are things which aren't very safe. <laughs> just literally falls right off I mean look at that as I said before it's completely ingrained in the village absolutely beautiful here look at that absolutely stunning absolutely beautiful I'm gonna try and capture now this reaction when she actually sees this like it's all in its whole beauty Baby, Ajo. Who else will I be calling baby? There she goes. Hello, my love. How are you? What? Begum? You don't call me Begum. Oh, cheeky. Look at that. Oh my gosh. All right, her reaction was a little bit underwhelming. So maybe we'll spruce it up. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Like, oh my gosh. I wasn't even realizing that I was missing this. And it's absolutely beautiful. Right, these guys have seen enough. One last look at the, the mountain range, all sun lit up, and then that's it. Pakistan. Incredibly beautiful and such spectacular views. I mean, who wouldn't want to pray here? Such a lovely building. Used to be a monastery, 750 years old. I keep saying it, but it is quite incredible. Buddhism left the area, Islam came in, and uh, Instead of knocking it down, they uh, converted it. I have to say, how beautiful does Nelly look, mashallah? You look stunning. What are you talking about, babes? And this mosque is absolutely beautiful. So, guys, this is the inside of Chafchan Mosque. Oh, it's finished a couple of hours ago. So peaceful here. Uh, you've got speaker's microphone here. It's such a shame, it would have been lovely to do Jumma here. For all the different time zones up here. See if I can spot London. None of them really make much sense. If you know what they say, please let me know. I tried to decipher the time, but I thought maybe this was London. But then how can the time be that? And then time in London be that? Does make sense? One of them is running a bit slow. Lots of journals. So peaceful here. Nobody's here. We've been in a lot of monasteries as well, and you get that entire vibe on here. Oh my goodness me, the sun really came out, didn't it? Look at this, this is the view. I mean, you're not praying to this side. This is the south side, you've got all the mountain ranges up there. How do you feel? Is it everything you imagine? You know, it's very pretty. Yeah, like very in, much. In the Himalayas, Ladakh on the other side, which is the Indian Himalayas. It shows that footage, it had its roots. And you can see, look at the village, it, it, it's sort of embedded into the village. So they haven't knocked anything down. Everything is as it was for like hundreds of years, which is incredible. See the way they've actually updated their houses, that you can see how old and ancient they 
Here we are, look, they've got all the lovely fruit trees everywhere. It's absolutely bloody beautiful. It really is. They've moulded around the nature and around everything that makes it possible. Amazing surroundings. MashaAllah. Definitely got to come visit. Chak Chai Mosque, Chaplu, Haplu. Trek to get to, but I promise you it's worth it. If we can do it, you definitely can. Moment of truth. Was my mother wrong? Was my auntie wrong? Let's see. Oh, you know what? They were. Look, they're still there. Yep, there they are. But to be fair, we went to Saudi as a kid. All our shoes did get taken. So it does have merit. And plus, this isn't very busy. Anyway, let's get back to the car. Check out more Haplu. She's so happy. She's so happy. I've never seen her so happy. It's lovely. It's crazy. Yeah, peaceful. She always talks about being at peace. Look at this. How can you not be peaceful? Yeah, right? Mountains are absolutely beautiful. It's a bit dark in here. We are inside a mosque. This place is absolutely huge. This is where the Chila sect of the Muslim community come to pray. The ceiling is amazing. And if you look over here, these big pillars, I think there's about 40 of them I counted. Uh, these are walnut trees, literally just stripped and put up. I mean, I'm pretty sure Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, cut no tree. Anyway, these are walnut trees and look, you can see all the little cracks in them. Well, they used to be walnut trees, obviously they've been treated and now put as pillars. See these massive cracks here. Interestingly, if we go over here, we have these small rooms and this is where members of the Kila Muslim community spend 40 days and nights praying and fasting. Obviously they eat when the sun goes down, most of the time they spend praying 40 days and nights of praying and fasting in these tiny rooms by yourself. God bless them, man. This mosque is absolutely humongous. Construction isn't actually complete. Um, it's in the process of being fully fitted out. It's absolutely beautiful. The woodwork, I mean, look. Look how they individually carve everything out. And the rooms I spoke about, you've also got them up top as well. Look at this beautiful window. This mosque would be quite something when it's fully built, inshallah. We even got a little skylight there. So on our way out, we just followed these amazing chandeliers. Check them out. Wow. There's one there. There's one over there. I can't believe we forgot about this. So up here, up top, is where the imam sits. And then you obviously have his microphones there. And the image in the background is a kind of cover. Where, yes, I have been uh, a long time ago, actually with a family in Saudi Arabia, Mecca. And then you walk around the Kaaba and up top you have the same same clock from Chichan Mosque but hopefully this one keeps better time. It's a really lovely layout. So there you have it, the world's largest Chilo Mosque. Oh look, they turned the, they turned the light on for us. Look, I can't see you. But yeah, let's go over. Wow, pretty spectacular, right? Okay, time to go.